it was April, the middle of April, so everyone was ready for spring, but it was snowy that, it wasn't snowing, but there were flurries and I remember it being extremely cold. So we heard what we thought was like a nail gun going off or cement, something was happening. And then it kept getting closer and closer. And so the teacher looked out the door and as soon as she looked back in the room and like put her body in front of the door kind of, she, all of a sudden, I don't know why I knew what had happened, but it made, I was, I, I could feel like something is wrong here, we're in danger. You know, he came in and you, your mind, I guess my mind left me. I don't want to, you know, my mind went other places because you can't fathom how that's happening or like, what is going on? Is this really happening? Is this guy doing this? You just kind of felt and could smell and could sense that people, some people weren't alive anymore at that point and, or they were suffering. They swarm into the room and they, I, you know, one of the first things I do remember them saying was like, shoot her down. Like they had established, I mean, he had, killed himself at the front of the room I was in so I had wiggled my toe on my left leg to confirm like I was afraid maybe I had been paralyzed or something I guess and maybe in that moment I kind of knew like I'm gonna be I should be okay physically but that was I mean that was just the beginning I guess so this wasn't gonna be the only thing that defined my entire life and so if it wasn't gonna be that I was gonna keep on going. It gave me motivation to make the absolute most of my experience and to push myself to create other facets of my college story. I was graduating from something that had become a hundred times more challenging than it, you know, emotionally than I had ever anticipated. I was proud of myself and happy that I could share that moment with so many of my friends that hadn't been there and then was able to see, like, look, um, I did it, I did it, I really did, and nobody can take um, that away from me, my diploma and my success academically, and that I had come through so much to get to that point. Um, I mean, I guess I would describe my life now as it's just become part of who I am, but I've always tried to work to make sure it's not the only thing that I feel like I share with people. Um, everyone has gone on to do, continue their life and no one stopped and said this is the only defining thing that has happened to me in my entire life. <laughs>